me finish by sharing with you a, an account that I read this week that happened in the 1930s. Up in northern Canada, there was a family that was going through a depression, much like depression, depression also happened here in America during the same time period. They were the Jansen family, and they lost their, their farm. There was a farm available that they were made note of that was at a pretty good price, but it was right next to a man named Judd Brewster's farm. And folks had bought that farm before, but had not made a go of it because Judd Brewster was such a mean-spirited man. Mr. Jansen was asked about how he thought he would do next to Judd Brewster, and he said, well, I'll, I'll kill him. That was his only answer, I'll kill him. And his kids questioned, what in the world does Dad mean by that? Well, they moved into the farm, and within a week, Judd Brewster showed up at the, the door and said, your chickens are bothering me. If you don't get them away from me, I will kill them. And so Mr. Jansen had the kids gather all the chickens, and they locked them in the hen house. A few weeks later, Judd Brewster showed up again, knocked on the door, they opened the door, and he said, your pigs were in my garden, and I brought them back to you. And they looked out there, and there in the back of his wagon was a herd of young pigs all shot and killed that he brought back. Mr. Jansen did not make a big ordeal of it, he just took the pigs and buried them. Not much time passed till his kids came running. One of the kids came running up and said, Dad, get the gun. Dad, get the gun. Mr. Brewster's pigs are in our garden. He said, son, we're, don't, we're not going to get a gun. Just round them up. They took the pigs back. He knocked on Judd Brewster's door. Judd Brewster opened the door, and Mr. Jansen, with a smile, said, uh, Judd, your pigs are in my garden. Judd Brewster's face went pale. And he says, well, just dump them over by the barn. He says, well, if I put them over there, they're going to get away again. And he realized that they hadn't been killed, but they'd been brought back alive. And that so overwhelmed him, he grabbed the hand of Mr. Jansen. And the story is told that they just they spoke at the front of that door with hands clasped for a long time. And then, then Judd Brewster gave him half of the surviving pigs. That next Sunday, the whole town was surprised. And at the back of the church, in step, Judd Brewster. From that Sunday, he was a changed man. Now, the kids of, of Mr. Jansen asked him, Dad, when you said you were going to kill him, what were you meaning? And he told him it wasn't with a gun but another way. He says that neighbor that we now have is as dead as a doornail. That's a changed man that he to The old one is dead. That is what he meant. And that is the power of applied love through a surrendered life. When we don't go out and respond in kind like the world, we're going to look at that tonight especially. We don't respond back to them like they may have treated us wrongfully. But we use a divine strategy and allow the love of God to channel through us and to affect this world and affect others in the body of Christ. That is when God's miracle starts to be seen and starts to happen.